Yo, what's up, Facebook? Want to make sure you guys can hear me. If you can hear me, give me some thumbs up. Somebody look on the screen. Okay, cool. Let's see. Mute. Okay, Bobby. Perfect. We up and rolling, y'all. Listen, tonight we're going to show you guys how to turn your house into an ATM. Somebody say ATM. Turn to your neighbor and say ATM. Well, tonight, guys, we got part two with the Perry family. We got another special guest that's going to be coming on, too. I'm going to try to get the bastards on here. You know, um, also the uh, the the lovely uh, Miss Tiffany as well. I'm going to have her to come on here and do an interview. But they're going to come on. And when once they get on in here, excuse me, we're going to go ahead and start breaking everything down. Because right now, guys, we're in a very good market, very good time. And I was sharing with you guys the other day. If you were watching what I was telling you, I said, listen, there was a there was a time that rentals was everything and uh, rentals are very important. You should always have traditional rentals, but you also want to have something else in your portfolio, which is Airbnbs. So Airbnbs, VRBO, whatever platform you're using, once upon a time when it came to these properties, all you can make is like a thousand dollars a month, 600 that goes to the mortgage, but then another, you know, four hundred dollars profit. So you're making about $400 a month. I mean, that that's not bad, right? It wasn't bad. But now when you look at short-term rentals, you got a different game, different game that you're playing. So the reason why it's a different game is because what you're actually seeing is that uh, you making like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand $10,000 in a month. And there are some people, man, they're doing a million dollars a year in Airbnb. I'm talking about just Airbnb. Not talking about any other businesses. Uh, CC and I, we did over two hundred thousand. Well, we did right at two hundred thousand dollars last year with Airbnb. So that's just Airbnb. That's not even counting flipping houses and doing all these other things. That's just Airbnb. So that right there was really, really, really phenomenal because it's a really good passive income. Really good passive income. So trying to get situated here, but really good passive income. So uh, just to kind of give you guys our story. So we started out and um, uh, two years ago and it was, it was one month before COVID started. Now check this out. I told uh, everybody, I said, I'm not doing Airbnb because what about the vacancies? It's like, it's just vac these vacancies going to kill me. Right. So I'm thinking about it the traditional way, like with a hotel. So one day uh, I was actually in prayer uh, one morning and it just hit me like, boom, you need to do Airbnbs. This is after I said no, made up my mind, I ain't going to do it, right? But one morning when I was in prayer, it, the Lord pressed upon me, spoke to my heart and said, let's roll with it. So I, I woke up. So I came out the uh, came out the room and I was like, Cece, she was like, what? I said, baby, we're doing Airbnbs. She was like, what? I was like, yeah. She was like, what? I was like, yeah. I said, man, I don't know. That's what I felt, you know? So anyway, we went with it and uh, we had some students that we taught in a different area of real estate who was, who was killing it in the Airbnb space. So what we did is we learned the game, you know, from them. They taught us what they know. We set everything up, got everything, got everything rolling. And uh, we got our first Airbnb, and within 24 hours, we were already booked. And um, and that that month, we made like $8,300. First month in Brunswick, Georgia. So a lot of people ask, you know, well, can you really make money in this thing uh, with Airbnb and make money in Brunswick, Georgia? So if you guys don't know, uh, Brunswick, Georgia for Airbnb is actually an A market. So it's an A market. So Brunswick is actually one of the best markets in America when it comes to Airbnb short-term rentals. So like you want to switch and transition because a lot of people that buy houses. So think about this. If you spend money and you like pay like say $50,000 for a house, you're not in profit until. Okay. Y'all in the room? Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Let me see. How do I get y'all guys? All right. Y'all got to come out the room. Come on to the broadcast. Let's see. Hold on. Y'all give me just a second. Let's see. Let's see if we can get the Perry's in here.
So if you guys are watching the Perry's, so the Perry's, if you guys come on in, if you guys come out of the studio, so come into the studio actually. All right, let's see, show. All right, so while I'm thinking, I just want to make sure everybody can hear me. So live view comments shows up on the stream. This is an example. Okay, hold on. I'm going to send you guys new links. New links are coming to you. I know you guys is watching. I might not know what's going on, but I'm just trying to bring the guest on. You know, every time you go live, you have some technical issues, but it's fine. It's cool. We are family. Y'all still love me, right? I love y'all too. So just a second. So while we're waiting on the parents to come on, I want to ask you guys if you guys have any questions as it relates to Airbnb. If you have any questions as it relates to Airbnb, just type those questions in because what we're doing is showing you how to turn the house into a, a uh, into an ATM machine. Not as easy as it seems, baby. Not as easy as it seems. All right. Let's see here. I'm just waiting for the questions to pop up while I'm bringing them in. Okay, cool. They are in the building. Here we go. Add them to the stream. Yo, what's happening? We live. Yep. All the way live, baby. Y'all give it up for the parents in the building. Man, I don't know what was going on. You know, I was like, well, maybe. Had us in the old one. I was like, hold on. Yeah, I, these comments is from a week ago. Right. <laughs> Come on over to the new, new. Had to, had to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, I'm going I'm to finish my story, then we're going to hop in with you guys. So what I was saying is, CC and I, we got started. And listen, we've only done this during the pandemic only and was able to clear $200,000. And so this year, we're about to like really blow it up because now we're buying more properties and we're, we're buying properties where we could do more pricing. And we're making our um, we are making our Airbnbs even nicer, you know, higher end finishes, added different things in there that we didn't have in, a, in other houses. So it's really going up. So um, I promise you guys, you guys want to listen to what the Perry is going to share with you guys tonight. Well, I'm going to share with you. We're just going to really have a conversation. We flow really well together. So we're going to have a good conversation. If you guys have any questions, please, 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 please ask. So to the Perry's, y'all. So I told them, I was like, listen, tonight we're going to teach you how to turn your house into an ATM. But in, in the process of turning the house into the ATM, um, I just wanna let them know that there are some rules when it comes to uh, short-term rentals. There are some things that can keep you from turning your house into, a, into an ATM. Can I get a witness, right? Yep. So I want you to share with them because see, a lot of times people don't tell you guys the pitfalls, but I want you guys just to share a little bit uh, some of the things you guys had to go through when it came to getting approved and, you know, and how would you deal with it if you had to do it all over again? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what's, first of all, that's some of the things that we had to deal with with the zone. She dealt with it more than I did because she was mostly doing all the technical computer type stuff. Mm -hmm. So go. So zoning, yeah. Yeah. Um, they don't want you to make no money. <laughs> they don't want you to make no money. Um, so we are in Clark County. And our property that we finally got after so many no's uh, is in Oconee County, 10 minutes down the road. Uh, and I guess Oconee County got 
certain rules and regulations to regulate short-term rentals and all this other stuff to basically say you can't make no money and what little money you do make we want a piece of it so um like they had things like was, we I had to add an extra parking spot which we're still working on uh dang what else they said I, I, this is something was, remember at one point she said you couldn't rent it they don't know what they're doing that's that's the thing it's so new that they didn't know what because i even asked her i said what if we have long-term renters who are over 30 days because they sanction and control anything 30 days or less that's what they consider short term. And I said, okay, so what if I rent to a long term person? Do I still got to have all this validation? And um, they was like, you can't rent to a long term tenant. And I said, that makes no sense, ma'am. So you're telling me if I own a house that I can't rent it out to somebody on a 12 month lease, six month lease? She said, absolutely not. But then she called me back like six hours later. She was like, yeah, something about it didn't sound right. You can rent it out. We just wouldn't regulate it. I said, yeah, so I guess what, long story short, it's going to be a lot of... A bunch of hoopla, long story short, you're going to run into a bunch of this and a bunch of that. People don't know what they doing while you trying to figure out what you doing. Right. And, and just, a, just a whole bunch of hurdles. So you just got to question everything sometimes. Question everything. Don't just, you know, take it as it is. Because sometimes, most of the time, there's a way around it. There's a way around it. Gotcha. So, guys, rule number one, when you're setting up an Airbnb, before you say, okay, I am going to buy this house for that, you need to check your zoning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You need to check your zoning because what I've seen with a lot of people, because listen, y'all, you can make a lot of money in this, but there's a right way to do this and there's a wrong way to do it. Now, yeah. you, can do it, you can do it the wrong way and you're going to be a sad puppy because what I've seen is I've seen a lot of people um, get into the game they don't have a coach. They don't know the rules to the game. They don't know how to do it. And so they hop in. They're like, oh, all I have to do is just, just pick any house and just post it up there, and then I'm good to go. Well, if you don't check what you're zoning, you may actually get a house that's against the zoning rules. You're not even allowed to be there yeah. with the short-term rental. And that's why, guys, if you go on Airbnb websites okay. on Facebook, you'll see people selling their bed, selling the whole house. Because they didn't follow the rules to the game. Yeah. Yep. Follow the rules. Yeah. So you gotta check with the zoning. And um, and so with the zoning, typically you can go to you can go to City Hall and find out, you know, what the situation is uh with zoning. So what's yep. some other things you guys had to deal with when it came to uh local government? Um as far as local government goes, that was just it. Just O'Connor had different rules from Clark, because we're in Clark County. Um, and that's where our business license is um, for everything that we do. Um, it's through the Clark County business office. Clark County be like, look, give me my $200. Y'all going by today. You know, pay me, pay me my tax. Yeah. Run me my money. And y'all yeah. have a great day. We don't care what you do then. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, yeah. But uh, I know this might, this might not be nothing big or you know, small thing if you looking for a home to Airbnb and be out. Them HOAs. Yep, yep. But when this one wasn't no HOA, yeah, thank God. That was our. That was we definitely. When yeah. we were talking about no HOAs. We don't want no HOAs. I don't yeah. want to hear nothing because they could change the rules at the next meeting. Yep, absolutely. So you guys got to make sure. That's another thing too. HOAs. Listen, baby. Like, do not get an Airbnb in an HOA neighborhood. Like that mm -hmm. is the worst thing ever. Yeah, it is the worst thing ever. I, we done heard stories already about that other uh Airbnb Which post one? about I guess getting an eviction notice because all yeah, the stuff yeah. Oh, yeah, share, yeah, share that story. Oh, so there was um because you know, like the same way you used to be seeing people selling their stuff on um Facebook, like oh, yeah. you know, whole whole apartment, two bedroom apartment. <laughs> <two bedroom. laughs> um, yeah, I uh I guess um it was something you saw. Yeah, the, I done seen a bunch of stuff. I done seen. You told me about it. Was it. A, the, I guess the HOA posted a letter like you must cease and desist immediately. Otherwise, you got to find this and find that. Then the other one was from a landlord. Like, um, I guess there was an apartment building. It was like we found out that there's an HO. I uh, found out that there's um, there's a, a Airbnb being run on the property, and this person had gotten permission prior. Yeah. yeah. And I guess the landlord said, "Well, it wasn't a problem." until it was a problem. Yep, yep. And they never got anything in writing from them that says that they gave them the okay. So they gave them okay, then they snatched it away and said, guess what? You got to get out. Season desist right now. Mm -hmm. You know. Wow. Right. 
Wow. Very Shoot, I learned so much on Facebook. You know what I even learned? I learned that there are certain car loans, even if you go and tell the, um, just so if, if anybody getting into the car rental tour business, if you yeah. even the car loans, um, based on the bank that you go with, even if you go in and tell that dealership that you are renting it for business purposes, I'm sorry, purchasing it for business purposes, yeah. check out contract because some of them contracts say peer sharing is off limits and they will repossess your stuff. Come on. So they out here, they they trying, they trying to keep us in the poor house. Because yeah. right. I was like, what? I said, let me go jump on my contract real quick because I'm like, you're coming <laughs> right now. If that's how y'all going to do it, because I'm going to make my money if I got to reapply. Come on, for real. Yeah, let's restructure this deal. Yeah. So, so listen, y'all. So rule number two, do not buy in HOA neighborhoods. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now, listen. Now, here's the thing that was big. Because what uh, what the Perry family just shared with us is that they had permission initially. Not them, but the family that they were talking about. They initially had permission. What you have to understand, the HOA, that is the governing board for your neighborhood. They can tell you what paint color your house has to be. They can tell you how many cars you can have in the driveway. They can tell you which direction your garage has to face. And they make the entire rules for the neighborhood. So you may go in and say, okay, the, this HOA said it's not going to be a problem. Well, you're skating on thin nights, even though you have permission, because as soon as you have one guest, this will happen now. Airbnb yeah. for the faint of heart. If you faint of heart, get off this live right now, I'm telling you. <laughs> so it, if you get one loud guest yep. mm -hmm. that's playing music too loud or whatever, they can call a mandatory meeting. And in that mandatory meeting, they can change the bylaws, the rules, stipulation, all of that can be changed. They do not have to talk to your city about that. Not at all. They don't have to say, well, the city of Brunswick, no, nope, don't matter. Not in this neighborhood because the HOA, that's the governing body. So I, I would totally, totally avoid HOA neighborhoods completely, yep. completely. I've heard horror stories about that. Where somebody done signed a lease, and here's let me tell you now, you don't get your money back either. Nope, nope. And then because you're in breach of the agreement, you gonna have to pay all that money up because you broke you broke the lease. That's a lease violation. Yeah, that's a lease violation. What's something that you would say that 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 people need to avoid when it comes to picking a house? And the reason why I got you guys on here doing it is because y'all went through hell, city, and snow. <laughs> um, I think y'all still going through a little bit of snow, but y'all yeah, was the yeah, hell, sleet, snow, fire, brimstone. Everything. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna. I don't, don't, I'm gonna let you speak. Cause you speak more. <laughs> I keep it lit with it because yeah. I mine is fire. Hey, is hey, fire. hey, give give him the give him the street version too. Yeah, mine is fire. <laughs> look, look, look. You need you know. I'm gonna let you talk because you know there's people out there. There's look, people I'm out there like me, and there's people out there like you. You you know you can go and talk to them. Hey, where your phone? I need you to. Put the, share this on um, your page. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you guys are watching right now, the Perry family is dropping some jewels. Now, listen, these are jewels from people who have gone through the fire. Okay, these we ain't no a little bit. We, we, we see the water though. If, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we can hear the sirens yeah. coming. We can yeah. hear the sirens coming. We can hear yeah. the sirens. Fire, yeah, fire. So, well, so you know they they making it through. But y'all want to go ahead and share this. Tag people. Like it, leave comments. If you got questions, we're gonna answer questions. Uh, both of us, we're gonna answer questions live tonight. Now, after now, after the live, we got questions, it's gonna cost a fee, but <laughs> better get it while it's free. <laughs> so, uh, so listen, guys, they they have gone through the fire. We've all we've all gone through the fire. What we're trying to do now is to prevent those pitfalls. So, what's something else you what is something else you would say that people want to avoid when it comes to picking uh, picking a house? For what they're gonna use for me uh, personally, like I say, and then you 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 step in and correct. Go ahead. I wouldn't pick a house that's so old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a lot, a lot of work on the back end that'll keep you. It's the difference between you opening that thing up in a month to you opening it up in about two months because it's gonna be this need to be fixed, that need to be fixed. This hasn't been served. This, this is not up. This so is old. unsafe. This yeah. is unsafe. At the very last minute, we were still fixing things like up to the day before the guests come, we had to fix a door. Up to the day on. Yeah, we had to fix a door. The door had to be door fixed. wouldn't shut. 
Yeah, so Caroline, I ain't gonna say and, it. And, and, and we, it's nah. a <laughs> so it's a double edged sword because we blessed that the house that we acquired is big. So it's a yeah. three bedroom, three bath, living room, kitchen, dining room, a uh, uh, game room, mm -hmm. a, 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 over a, one acre lot, over one acre lot, a flex room that we're using for a reading room. Yep. So all that is awesome, but all of that has to be cleaned it has to be serviced and maintained and and furnished and furnished and, furnished and decorated and so now listen ain't now shot now a lot of people don't know what a flex room is please explain just oh extra room so it's right? a, a room that i guess is flexible you can turn, you can it, turn into, it into anything. it could be a storage see, i don't even know i just see it on it's, dang on uh when you get the uh the floor plan the floor plan, the floor plan is a floor flex room. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly flex storage yeah. You can turn it into storage. Yep. Um, we turned it into a sleeping, not sleeping, sorry, a reading room, a reading room yeah. with bookshelves, also like a little workstation. So if you want to go in there with your laptop and do stuff like that, or if you just want to go curl up, take a nap, see, we got enough room for that too. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I think if I was to go back and do it again, we get a new house for I, sure. I would get a newer one. I would get something a little more up to date. And it's not just about time too. It's also about cost because that, that went from a 5,000 budget to to, no, yeah. it went to a no, yeah. no. Why are you spending money? <laughs> it got to the point where it's things that we needed, and we said, "Man, we just gotta go we, without it. We can't be <laughs> like it got. To, we was in like the second month, yeah. And I was like, "You still buying stuff? <laughs> like, man, we ain't got it. We ain't got it. Like, man, you still spending money? Yeah. So yeah. it's like, yeah, that will take your budget yeah. from, you know, okay, I got this to, oh my god, you know, I gotta yeah. sell off." <laughs> Half of my entire um worth here. Yeah. Right. I might have to give my left kidney to somebody. They got to pay yeah, 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 just to get yeah. it. Yeah, just to get it. So yeah. I probably would get something a little newer. Now, yeah. now, maybe smaller. Now, now let me ask you this now. So what are some of the things that they can do when furnishing the Airbnb to save costs? Faith. So yeah, he, <laughs> he don't like you stuff, but okay. Facebook, <laughs> Facebook. If you get the okay, if you can get the right stuff from Facebook, that's a good it will way to say, say. But it can cost you money too because we ran into an issue with our bed in our master bedroom. So when we got it, we, we got it from the place, you know. Of course, it was taken apart so it could travel. Then when it came time to actually set up the Airbnb, I don't know what the heck that bed frame was. And I took the yeah. measurements, it wasn't we thought it was a king. I say, I, yeah, I say this Facebook marketplace that will save you some bread on getting furniture. But my only advice is don't be afraid to be a stickler about the stuff that you get. That you get. Yeah. So I think that was our downfall. We'll go there. We wouldn't even really check it out. We just got it. And then when we bring it back to the Airbnb, it didn't work out. So it's kind of like we just but that wasted was, the money. That was only for two things. That was a box spring and the king bed. The yeah. king's bed frame. So we had to end up buying another king bed frame and another box spring. So yeah. more money. More money. So we could have saved that money. Yeah. Really. Gotcha. So I would be a stickler, get all my measurements, whatever you need. And when you go check it out, look at it, check it out right in front of them. Even if it, they feel like they're getting aggravated, we should check it out and making sure this going to work for you. Because at the end of the day, it's about your business growing, not yes. about inconveniencing them on their sale. Because you don't want to put nothing in that's going to risk you getting a five-star review. You know what I'm saying? You just get it because you need it. But then come to find out the leg broke on it. Mm -hmm. You get a guest mm -hmm. come sit down and they break and they fall. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. I, I say Facebook Marketplace, good. You can save some bread, but at the same time, don't be afraid to be somewhat of a stickler about the stuff that you purchase. Make sure it is something that's going to be a asset to your Airbnb, not a liability. Also, just a, something to throw in there. We stayed in our Airbnb for like a week so we could try to get the lay of the land to see what guests would be running into. Um, that also gave us some time to try to um, set some things up during, you know, the little bit of downtime we have at night when we're not going to, during the day at our franchise. Um, test everything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I Say mean, that again. test everything. Cut on, cut on every light. See how long that light stay on. Flick it a few times. Take a shower in every bathroom. Flush every toilet. Flush them at the same time. Do everything yeah. that your guests eat is going off to do. your dishes. Yeah. yeah, wash the dishes in the dishwasher. I washed. I had got some. I thought I had got some really good plastic cups. You know, they look just like glasses. Ran the thing through the dishwasher. Do you know them thing turn yellow? 
Yo. Oh, we geez. would not have known that. Would not if, if have were, known yeah. had I not drunk out of the glass and then put it in the dishwasher. Because I, I could have hand hold on, hold on, I could have hand Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Go. Hey, y'all drop listen, y'all. They dropping some gems. You hear me? Yeah, you hear me? Lavinia. Hey, Lavinia. I gotta say hey. Who was that? Lavinia. Oh, yeah, what's going on? This Man, is what you got your buddy. I know it's your people because I see <laughs> fast. I want to keep on talking and don't say hey. Yeah. For some reason, I can't even see them. So I hope they ain't saying nothing to me. Right, what, what's hey. going on? This listen, y'all. Y'all gotta address them by the name I call them. I call them the beautiful people. They the beautiful Ooh, people. They the beautiful people. The <laughs> oh, hello. Um, so he can go ahead and share. I already put it on my page. I don't know where his phone is. Oh, but yeah, test, test everything, man. Oh, hold on. You know what? I can see him. I can see him. <laughs> oh, you know what? No, no. You know what? No, no. Lavinia Patterson. That's my mama. I know. Hey, I'm like, mama yeah, I thought it was the other. I thought it was a, my uh, my folks up in um hey. in Alabama, but that's my mama. I What's up, mama? Right. Now, I figured that with mom dudes. That's why that Patterson, stop yeah. right now and say hey to the matriarch. You can't yeah. not just let her come in here and say hey. Yeah. You know, that thing say 7.35. Yeah, she helped make she this. Said it what time it is now? It's 7.38. We almost, we almost broke something. We almost broke the law. <laughs> I feel you, bro. Listen, so yeah, go so go back to what you were saying. About testing everything. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. so, so test every single thing. Eat off every plate. Put it in the microwave. Um, like I said, all the lights. Wash clothes. Wash clothes. Yeah, yeah. Cause um, that, that's another thing she found out. Cause she washed the clothes and the washing machine that we had that came with that came with the house. Um, the last person had pets, and it just it basically destroyed everything. It was getting hair and dog hair and all kind of stuff. Dang. So, but you, what would happen? You would wash a sheet and, and then. It, the sheet come out dirty. The sheet came out dirty. Although it was clean, <laughs> but it came out. It came out with dog hair in it. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Boy, so people love their pets. Yeah. <laughs> that's thing. Oh, that's what that's what you said. What what not to get? He said, "Don't get an older home. Don't get a house with a lot of pets." It made me wonder what was wrong with Ratcliffe when y'all got it. But we only had yeah. one dog. But we tried to keep biscuits groomed. But oh my God, that dog hair. That, Hold on, y'all had a dog? Yes. We never knew. You lied to me. I this, swear. This so we was rid of a, that. No, but, we got rid of that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, though. No, wait a minute, though. Because Biscuits was a Pomeranian, and he was there for four years. But we got rid of that carpet. What? We did get rid of the carpet. We got rid of that carpet. That's why we, that's why we got rid of the carpet, because we couldn't ever keep it clean. we go to vacuum and get yeah. down, and then the dog fur be still alone. But we still had carpet in the bedroom. It don't, he wasn't never in there. He walked in there a couple of times. Either way, but no, this dog here, this dog here in this house. Don't no, actually don't say too much bad about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I I understand. We got <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about that offline. <laughs> but what I will tell you, you know, but no, but no. You are 100% right. And everybody come. We had Kim dry and everybody come. I'm just saying, it was a hassle. <laughs> it was a lot to clean. We got it, but it was just a lot to clean, a, man. Man. Well, listen, I'm going to tell y'all this, too. Like, So I know a lot of people, they have. So if you do get an Airbnb, you really want to be particular about pets. Like, we don't allow pets. We just mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. We tried to do it before. Now, I am. Like, listen, if you do allow pets. This is my suggestion. Make sure that that is the one that allows pets all the time anyway, because oh, yeah. people have pet allergies. So I had a I had a, a guy. He told me he said, "Man, listen, uh, I'm gonna uh, sue you uh, oh, for the no. yeah, man. Listen, I tell them people get in line. People try to sue me so many times. <laughs> get in line, please. That, they so frivolous. Like ain't nobody even show up to court for that foolishness. He wants to sue me." Because I wouldn't let him bring a pet. Now, all of a sudden, when he I, I told him he can't bring a pet, and the rules are stated on there, no pets allowed, he talking about, well, it's a service dog. Oh, now it's a service dog. Mm -hmm. I said, well, sir, if you could provide me with documentation, then we can have a conversation, but I can't take your word for it. Mm -hmm. so you don't have nothing that says that, that Scruffy is a certified 
uh, what you call it, service animal, whatever, then uh, they know we can do about that. So, and you know, and you know what? I'm we have to fight that battle because I know I've been I, that's another story I kept seeing is that I guess Airbnb made the rules where they don't even have to disclose if it is a service animal, they don't even have to tell you they're bringing it now, they can just show up with it. I'm gonna come over there and kick you out, I don't care. Yeah, and if you blind and can't see, Scruffy got to go. I'm right. fine. Yeah, you're gonna be all day. You're gonna feel is cold weather. You blind anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. There are plenty of places that are pet friendly. Why is it that you want to come and make this a battle at our right. property? Don't make no right. sense. Don't make exactly. Sense. This ain't the right one. Because what I told him, I said, "Well, sir, I'm not discriminating against you. What I'm trying to tell you is that if you come and I and and you bring your dog, and my next guest comes and they have a pet allergy." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then now, now I lose that guest and the next guest and the next guest because I got to get it out of there. And my cleaner has a pet allergy. What you want me to do? Fire her because exactly. you want to bring your service dog? Right. So find another Airbnb that fits what you're looking for. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What's another thing? So like, so okay. So we talked about Facebook Marketplace, which CC and I love it to death. Love it to death. Mm-hmm. Um. So that's how we furnish our Airbnbs most of the time too. Uh, we also um, use stores like, I don't know, they're not in every city, but uh, what, Roses in Brunswick? Like, we have some Ollie's. Nice stuff. What is it called? Ollie's. Ollie's, okay. Ollie's, yeah, we got, um, they have they have a whole bunch of, um, I guess, you know, it's just like Roses pretty much, a bunch of um, uh, bargain. bargain stuff. I guess the brand stuff that, you know, maybe was from well, last th- year. The thing I like about Ollie's, it, it is a bargain, but it's like, Mid level, it's not it's not high level a, stuff, yeah, but it's decent. It's real, deep, real, real good, decent. real. It's real. not no low level, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, so like we saw some rocking chairs in there, good quality rocking yeah, chairs, yeah, and it yeah. was like for a good price at the same time. And Please. they had like a little, a little um, you know, the two pack um cascade watt for the dishwasher. So yeah. instead of buying like a big old thing and just putting two little loose packs of um things for the guests, they actually had them in the two pack, like the little small pack. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Like, 68 cents. So I'm like, okay, go and throw 20 of them in the bag. Oh, yeah. Come on, real quick. Yeah. Throw, them in there. throw them in the bag. Yeah. So, yeah. So, listen, guys, you don't have to buy everything, uh, you know, at Neiman Marcus and all these other stores. It's high end, you know, like, you know, when you're getting in the game, you don't have to break the bank. You don't. You don't have to break the bank. You can get things at a second hand because a lot of stuff has, uh, has character t- to it. That is used. Just make sure that it's, it's definitely sanitized, and uh, you know it's not like nothing crazy when we're talking about used. But yeah. I'm saying if you find like nice pictures, if you find a nice leather couch, and there's nothing wrong with it, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to use that leather couch. You could right. wipe it down, and you know, and this and this and this is good as new. So you don't have to break the bank to make big bank. Yeah, yeah. you know. I think the only thing. Oh. Now here's another thing too. Uh oh, I think the connection. No, we good. I was drinking water. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh no, I was gonna say another thing. It wasn't that. Um, it was it was the quantity of everything. We was able to find a good deal. It was just that we had to get so much, and that's what started making the budget go a little haywire it's not that we wasn't having good deals it's just that oh we got to get this and we got to get that oh this won't work without that oh maybe we can get by with this oh i lied we got to go get it so yeah 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 and um i think we took like some stuff we wasn't using from the house too like i ain't using that i'm gonna take this on over to crib uh, over to the airbnb Come on. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say because you doing something that's going to give you some money. It's yep. an investment anyway. Mm-hmm. If you can, man, I can take you. I take whatever you already done bought for your house. If you can use that at the Airbnb, just take it on over there. You can survive it and you can downgrade your own self because it- it's just a temporary thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you can, I would, that's what I would recommend too. Downgrade some of right. your own self. If you got a nice little, Staying in your house with your TV on, mm-hmm. uh, a lamp, or a lamp or something. Don't. You got a whole nother room that you ain't even using. And you got furniture and stuff. Just take it out of that, mm-hmm. put it in your Airbnb because yes. the furniture in your house ain't making you no money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're 100 right. Um, so when it came to like 
Um, now, you don't have to name the exact source because a lot of people want to know about pricing, right? So you don't have to say the necessary tool, but let's talk about, you know, the mindset that went into pricing and another book. Before you ask that, here's another answer that one. Here's a here's another question. Um, how do you guys feel about special touches? Because I've had people not guess now, but I've had people say, man, y'all offer too much to your guests. Um, mm -hmm. What is your mindset about that? Because we because we like to give them chocolate. We like to give them wine, you know, things that really like, you know, stand out to make them feel like, man, this is this is nice. So what what is your mindset about special touches to so, your place? Yeah, um, I think the more sensories or senses that you can touch, um, that kind of keeps the customer. It's like a surprise, you know. It's like Christmas. If you open one gift, you're done, you know. And it's like, okay, you know, happy holidays. You know, yeah. <laughs> you sitting there, you keep looking like, oh no. <laughs> Like, oh, snap a phone. Oh, snap a sweater. Oh, snap a gift card. Yeah. You know, so it's like, you know, you just, you know, as you're walking through and they see things, because um uh we have a we have a separate dining room um from the kitchen. So it's like a private dining hall or area. So when they come in, uh they see we got a nice wine holder and it also holds the glasses above it, so it's a nice little display. So boom, you got the wine that tie in with the decor. There's also a thank you letter with a little bit of candy that has our logo on it. Then you walk into the kitchen, boom, guess what? If you hungry in the morning, I got instant grits. I got instant oatmeal. We got, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, granola bars. Yeah. Oh, you want tea? Guess what? I got over 15 different flavors <laughs> of tea pockets right here. I got your folder. How many? 15. 15. We got it. It, was a, it was off Amazon. And it was a $10 uh, tea packet, and it came with 150 teas. And but it was twenty different teas, so I said okay. I didn't even put I didn't put twenty yes. of them because it wouldn't fit in the thing I put in there. So I was like, man, we got that. We got sugar. You don't you lactose and not lactose? Uh, you diabetic? I got Splenda. So yes. uh, yeah, got yeah. all those um options. And then guess what? <laughs> Walk upstairs. There's some candy on the bed. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm all about that. Yeah. All about that that special touch mm -hmm. and there's so many different ways you can do it like she was saying all the stuff that you could do like for example like if you're in brunswick and if you get them some holloways cupcakes or something like that yep Come that's, on, something, for real. Like, that's something you can only get in brunswick and if you got people who frequent brunswick they may just want to come to your Airbnb every time because they know the state they live in. They can't get that, but they're never going to get it for free with you. Mm -hmm. And so stuff like that, that'll keep people, keep people coming back, keep people coming back. Yep. Yep. Also, yep. Um, this is, this is more on the, what do you call it? Um, like the stock, like for example, the stock into the kitchen, I don't know what you call it. Of course, you know, you got your basic cooking utensils and stuff, right? So um, we also have a grill. So we got them a very nice grill kit. So um, our grill set, you know, it's got everything, everything down yeah. to, you know, little corn, you stick them in the side. But yeah. we also put a grilling cookbook next to the utensil. So it's like, hey, y'all come to the grill? There's a cookbook, you know, here's some recipes y'all to try out. And a meat thermometer. So I was like, here, come I know on. Are here the come grill. On. Let me make it a little bit easier for you. Yeah, so, you know, I love it. And we had like a little basics cookbook, um, like, you know, not like, you know, go find coriander type of stuff. Like this is a basics cookbook. Like, you know, if you got a can of um, Campbell's mushroom soup and a bottle of ketchup, this is how you can make this decadent meal. So we left that next to the stove, too, because it's like, you know, y'all traveling and minimalizing. So, you know, if you need to go to the stove with ten dollars, you can come back and make a good meal for six. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's really good. Thing. Because like, listen, guys, like. Okay. Yeah, like don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to give your guests a special touches. Like they're when they're coming to Airbnb, they're typically paying more than what they would pay at a hotel. Um, and but one thing about it is they're getting more than what they would get at a hotel. So if you make it like the basics of what they get with a hotel, you don't stand out. So you want to make sure that you stand out above the competition. And that way you become the house that everybody wants to come back to because nobody, nobody wants to come back to a place where they feel like the people did the bare minimum, you know? Yep. 
Yep. If you did the bare yeah. minimum with me, that I ain't going back to, for sure. <laughs> 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 Is it both? I just no, no. Is, that, 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 both they're, they're one. Just the one. Yeah, the one, one. Before? I ain't going back. Okay. I ain't going back. And I got just what you said. Yeah. The bear. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yep. 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 Because listen, when I say CC and I went all out, man, we was giving people chocolate, wine. Uh, we had feminine products. We gave them deodorant. Oh, yep. It's every guest. Deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, you know, yep. all of that. Yep. People was like, man, why are you giving all of that? That's too much. Like when I go to a hotel, you know, I, I don't get all of that. Well, that's good because I don't want to be the hotel. I'm trying to beat the hotel. Right. I want you to yep. come back here. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So. So let's talk. So let's so let's so so now I want to go to pricing, and then um then I want I, so let's talk about the mindset of pricing before we wrap it up. So, mm -hmm. uh, what was the the mindset when it came to setting price, and then how you're looking at price in the future with different events and weekends and things like that that's going on in um in the city that your Airbnb is located in. Um. So. Uh, I know we took a look at some other houses that were in the area to kind of see what they were going for, like their bedroom count, bathroom count, uh, how many people they could sleep, um, and just try to find a medium along with um, seeing uh, what things have rented for on, based on Airbnb statistics. Uh, so I think we're still trying to find our happy medium, um, but... As far as I can tell, do, should I be should I be saying price points? Or what, what, what should, should I say the price points? You don't have. To, well, I would. The reason why I would say not to because the market is okay. very. Okay, gotcha. gotcha the market is gotcha. very. Yeah, okay, gotcha. market. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Um, but yeah, so we just kind of had to. Because somebody may get on here. And they, they, they may get on here and they may be a different market. And they was like, well, I ain't getting what, what Rashad and Valerie getting, yeah. you know? So I want to make sure because because the market is market's really varied. Yeah. That's true. That's right. That's true. That's but, true. but go ahead. They do vary because 10 minutes down the road is a lot cheaper. So, yes, that's another thing to look yeah. for when we were talking about what to look for when you're looking for one. Uh, just because it's yep. brand spanking new and you know it's a mansion yeah. on top of the hill may not be a good area. Yeah, yeah. But I will say we is yep. best get one in this area, particular area, yes. because with man, college town. Yes. I don't think I need to say anything else besides that. Yeah. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. The college town yeah. and they got. Uh, well, we get. Well, we get. Yeah, I, 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 I pump y'all up a little bit because. They are in Georgia Bulldog territory, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you know, Justin, for that. Justin Brown. Huh? Got, so look, I can't let him come here and say something, and me not say something right after he say something. Justin. Oh, who is it? Who we got? That's how it's my brother-in-law. Brother-in-law, brother, and congratulations, brother and congratulations. You expecting a baby girl? No, oh man, that. congratulations! You, you know, like you just threw his business on out there. Yeah, have my knees. Could have my knees. Just see some me, some time, give me the. I'm talking go dogs. Yeah, <laughs> go dogs. All right, let's go back. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where my dogs at? <laughs> X gonna give it to you. Come stop. <laughs> ah, come on, come on, let's... come on. All right, okay. So, so now let me ask you this, and, and so I will. I do want you to say this. So, just to kind of give them a taste, right? So, what is the highest you've seen potentially? Because we do have software that shows us what we what mm -hmm. we can get, right? Uh -huh. So, what is the highest you've seen? Potentially for a Georgia Bulldogs game for a night. Eight hundred dollars. That's the highest. That's the highest. I thought I saw something. No, high. so you saw something for one of them plus people now. There's some people who get eighteen hundred dollars a night, but for our area and our particular, how many people we can fit? 
um it's uh the highest i saw was 800 that's that's right now looking right now because everybody has not started booking so as there becomes right. less less availability that can easily double because we get down to the wire and the game about to be two weeks away and everybody done book and they be like dang i can't find nowhere to stay because we have actually on our franchise side we had to have people come down and we would book hotels for them and i think one of them was doing a game weekend and we could not find any hotel. I said, I didn't even know what's going on because you know I ain't no sports person. I said, Well, I can't find no hotels. We had to reschedule our meeting because we couldn't find yeah. no hotels to put these people in. I said, Y'all, we gotta back this up two weeks because ain't no hotels. Yeah. So we but so yeah, y'all hear that? So so in, in their particular spot, they saw eight hundred dollars per night. Now, what you do know, people are going to come in the day before the game, but when it's a rivalry game, they're going to come in two days before the game because they don't want to get caught up in the day before traffic. Mm-hmm. So that's two days before the day of the game and the day after. That's when they're going to leave because they, they're going to be too drunk to drive or too tired. So you got four nights, 8, 16, 24, 32. You're good to go for four nights. Yep. Yep. Did I do a math right? You did, yeah, you so, did it right. You did yeah. it right. Yeah. I, I'm glad you're the yeah. one that did it. Yeah. Hey, listen, math is what I do. I do them asleep, you know? So, <laughs> so listen, that's $3,200 in four days. Yeah. Man, Jesus, what? Sign me up. So, also, too, they saw one. And remember, this is this, this is before we get close to the game. They saw another one at eighteen hundred dollars per night. Like Jesus, man, what is going on, right? <laughs> so typically for, for them rivalry games, man, you're looking at like four four nights usually. Yeah, you're looking at usually looking at four nights. Uh, somebody else left a comment. Let me see who it is. Wait, well, man, y'all seen the Comments before I'm saying the comments. Oh no, he said appreciate that, man. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, Justin, man. Listen, I don't. Even, I don't even know if I know. You. I probably. I probably don't, boy. But you know what I'm saying. You good with me because you're a Bulldogs fan. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> good, to go. good to go with me. So, man, I hope the did the parents bless y'all tonight. Did they bless y'all tonight? I know they did. I know they did. So, listen, y'all. We're going to ask you. To reach deep down in your wallet, I'm joking, but <laughs> and we're gonna take up a benevolent. But no, uh, but this is what I want you guys to do, guys. I believe in reciprocity. Okay, when somebody gives you something, and you know, give them something back. You know, we wanted to give and give back. They didn't charge to come on here to do this live with you guys. And the only thing we're gonna ask you guys to do tonight, guys, is we want you to go to their link. And we want you to see how beautiful that property is that they have. All right. Want to see how beautiful that property is. And what I want you to do is go ahead. We want you to add it to the wish list. Okay. Add it to the wish list. When you add it to the wish list, it actually makes them have a higher ranking um, in the uh, algorithm for Airbnb. So this is your way of saying thank you to the Perrys. So if you guys see it scrolling across the screen right now, go ahead and copy that link, paste it, and go ahead. Matter of fact, let me put it in the comment section too if I can. Give me a second. Because I think they could copy and paste it easier from the comment section. So, yeah, let me paste it in there. Can't post comments on Facebook. Okay, so see if you guys can post it in yours. It's not letting me on my side, but it, it is on the bottom of the screen. I want to say thank you. This is how you pay them. Uh, um, just go and add to the wish list. You do not have to book. Nope. Okay? Well, I tell you you what. do not have to book. They have one of the most beautiful. What? You want to, though. You can. <laughs> if, if it's go ahead, what should I say? <laughs> go ahead, you, go ahead. You, just, you just feel like coming to Athens to see your boy. You know what I'm saying? Then you go ahead and book. But at, at the end of the day, yeah, if you add it to your wish list, you will be doing me and my wife a goddamn on favor. Yes, please. That's all we need. That's yeah. all the support. 
we need. Okay, now I always see these support yep. people talking about we want to support black business, support our own, all that stuff. All I need you to do a couple of clicks, just one, two clicks. I mean, click on the link and then hit yep. the little heart button to add it. Now you may have to do a little bit more work if you don't yep. have an Airbnb account, but they don't ask for credit card information. Just sign up like you do any other website and then click that heart button. Just yep, yep. So listen, that that's y'all. Thank you right there. That's how you show. That's how you show appreciation, man. Just go and hit that. Okay, beautiful, man. You man, you listen, but your brother-in-law is doing it, man. He in there. So y'all see, it. yeah. So listen, he got That's it in the Justin comment boy. section. Let me is go. that the link, Justin? For real? Let me yeah, let me go ahead. Justin. Yeah, he put it in the comment section for you. Why look different? It's a yep. oh yeah okay okay. Showing up. Yeah, yeah. So listen, y'all, right there in the comment section. Go ahead and copy that link. And uh, when you go in there, like Valerie was just saying, to the top right hand corner of your screen, just hit the heart button. Just like you're clicking that you like this video, you love it or whatever. You're clicking heart. You don't have to book. But like Rashad said, if the spirit hits you, go on and book. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> go on and get booked. Are you booked? Okay. Y'all going to make me preach a whole, ser a whole sermon to y'all. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and preach it, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching right now and you've been blessed by Rashad and Valerie Perry, you see the link on the screen. Go ahead and click it right now. Turn to your neighbor and say, Right now, <laughs> click on that link. <laughs> and when you go in, you want to go to the top right hand of the screen, huh? You want to click. Somebody say click. So you're going to click on the heart button and that's going to add it to the wish list. Come on, somebody. And it's going to bring them up. I say they going up. They going up. They going up. So they going up in the algorithm. So y'all listen, show your love, show your support. Go ahead and add them to the, uh, to, to your wish list. And um, that's going to help them out a whole lot. And also if you guys want coaching, Hit us up. You know, me, CC, we buy house 912 LSC. Please say the C. Hit us in the inbox. We got you guys on coaching, whether me, uh, whether CC. And I think we're going to have to make a, a Facebook page for baby Camille and MJ, too, because people just in love. <laughs> so if you see a page with uh, MJ and baby Camille, then y'all go ahead and send them a message, too. I promise. They, they know how to get that money. They're going to come on through. So go ahead, man. We'll help you guys. We'll help you guys out. And, um, and also, too, man, uh, the Perrys, um, they may be coaching soon. So you may want to hit them up soon when they're, when they're ready to coach. They'll be coaching. So so that's it for tonight, man. Love y'all. And if you love your mama, share this video. Even if you don't. Good night. Go ahead and share it. Even if you don't, <laughs> go ahead and share it. <laughs> go ahead and share it. Yeah, even though the broadcast is ending, man, go ahead and share that link, share that video, uh, do what you got to do, man. I hope this bless uh, bless a lot of folks tonight. Um, I know it's good. Always good to have a good conversation with them. You know, I had to, I had to, I had to hold my mute a little bit because we talk all we talk all the time, and we could have just went on a whole another conversation and forgot that y'all oh, yeah. was here. Yeah, but we made yeah, sure to yeah. include you. Yeah. So. And anybody out here, y'all want to add us to y'all friends list? Add us. Send us a message. We always yes. trying to meet new people. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. Yep. And if they, even if they got any questions, because I know we we couldn't cover everything. We answered as much as we can. But any other questions no. they may have about this, I mean, feel free to shoot me a DM, shoot her a DM, ask man. If I can answer it, I answer it. If not, I know I, I'm gonna direct you to Michael. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Exactly. Yeah. Or somebody. I oh, find out. Yep. Because I am a researcher yeah. of information. Yep. Lord knows. So if I don't know it, I find it. Yeah. I can tell you what we yeah. experienced. I can tell yeah. you first hand. Yeah. Yeah. They definitely they definitely know how to dig in the crates to find find that info. <laughs> yeah. But man, mm -hmm. enjoy y'all, man. Love what y'all love what y'all doing. And man, uh this probably won't be the last time. So probably probably some months down the line. We uh, we're gonna we're gonna come back again and just so that way they can uh hear what your experience is six months down the line. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Anything y'all want to say as you part your uh, social media handles or anything? Social media handles. 
You know we ain't on social media. Right? I got Facebook. I got Facebook. My, it's Valerie Perry. And Sean Perry. Hey, she, she got an old soul. She don't know. I'm not going to I don't even know what that is. Social media handle. You don't. You don't. Y'all, y'all, y'all got Instagram? Add our handles. When do that? You know Look, what? We make. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. She and she. she, she, she she, she in her thirty, but she got a soul of a dang old. Oh, you see how he just threw my age out there? I said thirty. <laughs> 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 you know, they don't know how you is. They don't. I ain't wrong. No they could have been like, look at that man sitting there with that eighteen year old wife. Ain't nobody know I ain't messing with hey. no. They know I ain't messing with no. <laughs> Don't cut the live off because it's about to be a murder. <laughs> Got a soul of a dang on 60 year old woman, though. You see how he just he you know, he you know, you know, you know, so you don't want to be in your 30s, in your prime. So that ain't in your prime. 30 ain't. Oh, 30 ain't in your prime. Anyway, anyway, um, if you have enjoyed tonight's session, please reach out to us. We are always looking to make new friends. And meet new people, expand and network. I'm sorry, I just got to do that again. But, <laughs> but we appreciate y'all joining us, and um, we look forward to, of course, you know, having more conversations with Michael and the success that awaits us all. Thank you. Yes. What is social media handle? I don't know what it is. What's the one since you dad don't know it so much? What that thing on Shaw Perry. Okay. Is it? How did they play? How did they play on Instagram? Shy Perry. It ain't no. It's at Shy Perry. It's Shy Perry. It's at. I know type in Shy Perry, and I'll pop up. You know what? We might just start a daggone social media. It ain't gonna be nothing but us. Facebook is a social media. Shut up. Okay. (laughs) It was just gonna be (laughs) all the time. It was gonna be couple arguments. Y'all pick a side, like, and you decide who won. She like to argue. That's the problem. No, no. Yeah. It's not that I like to argue. It's that you just love to just mess with my peace. I don't understand. Let's go and cut Ooh. it off then. Hey, that's gonna be the name of it. It's gonna be called Pick a Side. Pick a side. <laughs> hey. Yep. Pick a side. I'm saying that song. <laughs> you know what song? That song. She was like, if you think I'm a sweatshirt, you watch your mother effing mine. Is you stupid or is you hey. dumb? <laughs> <laughs> you know what saying? <laughs> he don't he don't he don't like it when I step out of my professionalism. I'm not allowed to sing Cardi B and I don't other things. Hang with. I got to figure out who she be hanging with. <laughs> no, you, no, you you know that Cardi B song up? I hadn't even heard it. He came in the house yeah. playing it, and I heard it, and I was like, "Hey!" He was like, "Don't you be listening to that rap?" <laughs> Well, hold up, cause you expose me to it, and now I like you, and now you yeah. let me. Cause it be yeah. influenced. I but he played it. it in front of me. I did listen to. I ain't played it. He front played of it her. in front of me. <laughs> I ain't played it in front of. And her. next thing you know, it was never <laughs> on my playlist. I, I, I wasn't playing it. In front. I was just watching, and she just so happened to be hey, in the room. He, yeah. he just ain't like it, cause I like that part. Broke boys don't deserve some stuff, and he that means he got to keep his oh, money. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's why he ain't like it. He ain't like it. I'm telling you, I keep your money up. That's the only part of the song she knows. <laughs> I know the whole song. I know. Hey, hey, this this the extended edition. This for the this for the grown folk. You know the kids. They got church tomorrow, so they don't put the kids to bed. They got the grown folks edition now. Oh Lord, I hope the kids. Grown folks edition. Time. We gotta put a rating up here next time. I be telling her about that. I got folk, church folk, follow me on the dang on social media. First of all, she talk about this here. First of all, <laughs> you be talking at what church first? Hey, how they got here? <laughs> my mom, my mom follow me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you be talking. Hey, and I know. Hey, that's even worse. My mama now. That's even worse. Perry, Perry could understand the joke. <laughs> Lord Jesus. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah, pick a side coming, coming soon. <laughs> okay, pick a side. Yep. You coming? Yep, coming soon. Get new topic. In fact, yep. y'all send us topics on what y'all uh, want us to argue about. <laughs> we go, hey, listen, you, it, it can't get no better than a married couple arguing. It, it don't never end. It don't never end. Yeah. Every day we we'll wake but up. But all right, y'all. I think that's it, y'all. 
for look for y'all who just tuned in, y'all see this see it going across the screen right there one last time. All you have to do, copy paste is also in the comment section. Copy it, paste it, go to it. When you go to it, make sure you click on the heart button, and that heart button is gonna add it to the wish list, and that's it. You ain't got to pay no money, ain't nothing coming out your pocket unless you feel the spirit telling you to book. You don't have to book. All we want you to do is add it to the wish list, help us in the algorithm, and we will do the same for you once you get your Airbnb. So, okay. yeah, shop here, Valerie Perry, Michael Patterson. Yep. Hit us up if you want coaching, and we out, man. Love y'all. Good night. We buy houses 912 LSC. Please say the C. <laughs>